everyone. Um, so, yeah, what I'd love to tell you about is something that uh, you've been able to do in Selenium and Water for a long time. My team at Level Digital in Toronto, we use uh, Ruby and Water, uh, and it's, it's the concept of rooting your page objects, because page objects don't actually really add a lot of value intrinsically, because you can't query if they're there by default or, or, or what's going on with them. So if we just have a look here, this is a quick example that we have from our documentation. It's an open source repo called Ferris. Um, we defined a region here to model a page about facts. So, you know, given, let's say, a fact page has a question and an answer. One thing that could be really difficult to do is, let's say you define the elements of questions, it's an array, an ele uh, element for answers, it's an array, and you get back, oh, there's eight questions and ten answers. So you're like, okay, I'm missing, I'm missing two questions. Um, and you start to realize, well, I wonder which two facts are missing questions. And you actually don't know, because there's nothing that correlates those two elements by default. They're two entirely separate things. So what we can do with a region is really nice. We can define this here, say facts, and we're going to use the idea that it's a container that will have both the question and the answer in it, because they'll probably be inside of a div. And what we can say here instead is define, as if it were a page object, what is inside of a fact. So we have an element question and an element answer. And we have a couple methods here to define, do you have a question and do you have an answer? And you're thinking, okay, well, how does this really provide us value? Let's take a look at how that's used. So we can actually query now page.facts.size, and we can actually get, well, how many containers of facts are there? So it would say 10. And then I can look in any actual fact and query, do you have a question inside you and do you have an answer inside you? And so I can actually then check um, not only are the facts present as a concept, like query, are you there? I can query about their contents and if they're there. And what's really cool is you mix this with something like RSpec, we can all of a sudden say, I expect all the facts to have a question, I expect them all to have an answer. And if that fails, it will actually tell you exactly which fact, which index of the facts was missing a question or missing an answer. So you've immediately added a lot more value to your tests. You're able to add a lot more value to how you're failing and where you need to go and make a fix. And the code is quite elegant and beautiful. So that's like a very complex example using plural. If you want to think about it just a bit simpler, you could do this with singular things like a header and you could define a page as a series of regions, so a series of rooted elements. So your header is, you know, let's say at ID head, you can define the things that are in your header, and you could say something like when you visit a page, header.present, do I see the header? And you can then actually have a namespace for your elements, so header.logoutbutton.click. Having a namespace makes your test code read better, makes your page objects read better, and everyone makes more money, and we all go home happy. That's my lightning talk.